what adjectives would you want to put in front of mentoring to help us understand the near future of, of mentoring as an experience or as a process? Now, one of the things that I'm paying attention to as I am hoping to create these videos and to support IMC and in conversations with Doug and a little bit now with Brenda because she's getting more involved with, uh, with the community, is that I'm always curious from a search engine optimization perspective, what search terms, right? And what search phrases are necessary with mentoring. And that prompted me to think about, if we take the word mentoring, what's the adjectives that we want to put in front of mentoring to understand what mentoring is about as we move into the second part of 2020 into 2021? Is there adjectives that make sense to put in front of mentoring to help us understand mentoring? And let me give you an example. There's a lot of information about youth mentoring. And you can go and lots and lots and lots that go on there, and therefore you'll get something like peer-to-peer -peer mentoring. So I'm just curious, what adjectives would you want to put in front of mentoring to help us understand the near future of, of mentoring as an experience or as a process? Thoughts? I would, the first one that jumps to mind, well, I know there's one that jumps to mind that I don't want, and that's, and that's reverse mentoring. So scratch that one off the list. Then going forward, I would see modern or effective mentoring as two, two uh, search words. All right, so that begs the question. I know the answer. Reverse is out because? So think of the word reverse. Reverse means to go backwards. So if reverse mentoring is about going backwards in a mentoring relationship, then we're having this conversation for the wrong reasons. And so I, and reverse mentoring, how that has come about is that's supposed to be a younger person mentoring, working with, spending time with a much older person. Typically, where we see that taking place is in the field of technology, where the younger person is teaching the older person how to use technology to their benefits. Bottom line here is that, to me, is effective mentoring, because mentoring is a two-way trusted relationship. It's not, it's got nothing to do about going backwards. And then I think you used modern? I did. And what, how would you use modern in front of mentoring? Basically, if you take a look at um, the traditional style of mentoring, and, and traditional is one, that's a, one of the styles of mentoring that still is, ironically, is still, is still used, and it's describing it as the older gray-haired old sage on top of the mountain passing on their wisdom to a much younger person. That is, that's not modern mentoring, that is old school mentoring because of, just because of the definition. Okay. Yeah, I don't consider age a factor. It's really about one person has knowledge and experience and the other person doesn't. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so just to add that, but going back to your original question, Stephen, I would think it has to do with uh, spe specificity in terms of the, the content that they're looking for mentoring in. Like, for example, it could be entrepreneurship or, you know, web design or, um, you know, HR. I mean, I would think there, there could be people looking for mentors in a particular field that is the field that they want to enter into or, or expand their career in. Uh, I haven't spent any time looking at the keyword phrases relative to mentoring, but that's what, that's what I would think. And, and I mean, especially these days when people are just typing questions into Google, right? If you're looking at Google, for example, 
So you could say, you could even type in, you know, how can I find a mentor in finance or how can I find a mentor in using options on the stock market or how can I find a mentor in how to build my first website, right? Stuff like that. Uh, that's really because everything's moving towards, you know, human phraseology versus computer language, right? So, mm -hmm. Yeah, I I'm just want, old still I use pluses and minuses. And <laughs> yes, well, that, that that's great. Is because it's it's a good recognition and remembrance because when someone's watching this video, and they're going to look for okay, well, what search terms might I put in because they see the value of the title of this short snippet that would go out is how do you find mentoring that is of use to you kind of idea? Ask the question format. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And it's also really great if you want to is is something along the lines of mentoring and then space and put the first letter A, what pops up because on YouTube and Google, that usually pops up what's the most searchable term, which might actually give you, oh, right, I can enter mentoring from this perspective. Then I put B in, oh, I can enter from this perspective. C and D, it's just um, an, another way of thinking about mentoring when we go searching for it, okay? So there yeah. you go. Rohi, do you have any adjectives you would want to put in front of mentoring? Uh, yeah, so uh, what even my learnings uh, as I uh, observed people and uh, I had communication with them. So I understand mentoring is like freeing people from the cage a cage of fear, a cage of uh, like self-confidence, a cage of question mark about social issues, society, and about backgrounds, about dilemma, kind of what they are like, something is uh, holding them that you can't do, but you can do. It's like that. So I have, uh, I talk to people, they have a very knowledgeable, they want to do something, but they're kind of uh, rigid something, kind of, yeah, they want to do, but they can't do it. So then I can say mentoring is very useful for them. So once, yeah, for like uh, behavior and uh, there might be a science on the mentoring. Yes, that actually, but to understand a mentee, we have to understand their background, like from what background a mentee is come out and what they want to be achieved. Mentee know the answer, but they still confuse. Yeah, this is not the correct answer. I need more clarity. That's why the mentor works for him. Yeah. Okay. So in, in a sense, Rohi, it's a little bit of a take on what uh, Brenda just shared because it's sort of like how to get a mentor or how to get a mentor in web design or how to, it's sort of like a combination of elements to think about. And that's what you've got to be clear about, is it not, everyone? We have to be clear about what is it that we're going after with mentoring? And that's why I was using the adjective that goes in front of it. If I'm looking for youth mentoring, I'm looking for peer-to-peer -peer mentoring, I'm looking for, right? Right. Do you think about this? Thoughts? Yeah, so the other thought I have is what are the other kinds of questions that may not include the word mentor, but where the answer includes a word mentor, right? So Share a little more, this is great. Share a little more. Yes. Well, so for example, you know, with this whole COVID thing going on, there's lots of small businesses out there that are not able to operate because they are an in-person business and they're not deemed a critical business. So then they might be thinking, well, how do I serve what my customers through an online platform, but I don't have the money to hire someone to do it for me. So they might ask, well, how can I transition online at a low cost? Cause they want to do it themselves. So then in that case, really, a mentor would be an excellent choice for them to have someone that knows what needs to be done, but that can really just guide them so that they can do it themselves. Because in many cases, 
this is likely a permanent shift for those small businesses, right? Depending on the nature of the small business to, you know, they may like our world is not going to go back to the way it was before. It's always going to be a little bit different. So then it's really smart for these small businesses to now incorporate, well, what can I do, you know, when other things come up that prevent my ability to be working one-on-one, -on -one, like with the person right in front of me, what can I do? And they could be, maybe they are totally not using technology at all. Maybe they're just using email and, you know, messaging or something. So then the ideal case for them, because they don't have a big budget, right? They're not going to go out and hire some consultant to do a big plan for them. They just need someone to take to take them by the hand and guide them and say, well, let's let's explore some questions. How could we, you know, offer at least something about what you're doing using uh, technology as an intermediary? And then that that really is an ideal case for a mentor mentee relationship. So I've I've <clears throat> I've been listening to the conversation and what I'm hearing is, is, and it could be a combination of the two, but is, is it the mentoring process that gets us to the end result? Or is it a combination of mentoring and the industry specific experience that gets us to the goal line? Or is it as long as I have industry specific experience or my role or my function, whichever term you wanna use, as long as I have a background in that, I can probably mentor anybody to, to wherever they need to get to. Well, I think it could be a combination, right? I mean, it depends on the spe specific nature of, of the small business, say, that's looking for in this case. Uh, but we've talked previously about the difference between coaching and mentoring. Right. And so a coach is someone who really can help you stay accountable to what you want to do going forward. Whereas a mentor also brings their, their lived experience and expertise to the table. So they're still not doing it for you. Right. The mentor is not doing it for you. That would be a consultant. Right. And you spend more money. Like I'm a consultant too. Um, but the mentor has the experience in whatever the thing is that you're trying to accomplish, but also helps you as far as, guiding you with so that you can do it yourself as the mentee right so it's a combination of those things so do do you actually need that experience and i guess where i'm coming from as long as i understand the mentoring process and can can in a practical sense apply those concepts the industry's experience is a nice to have not a need to have I think it, it depends on the specific situation in some cases. Uh, but I mean, I think that when you choose a mentor, that it's good to pick someone who has at least some level of experience in the area that you want to go deep on when you're the mentee. Uh, now, if it's interpersonal stuff, then, then you know, that, like if you're looking to, let's say you're a, um, in a, a larger organization and you're looking to, you know, climb up the ladder, right? You're looking to get promotions. Then you really want someone who understands how do you navigate within the context of the corporate environment, right? Uh, I mean, that's, that's, that's the way I look at it. The, the other way I guess we could look at it too is that and the answer or the, the word depends, it depends on where you are in your mentoring career, for lack of a better, are you just starting out as a mentor or have you had some additional experience that we could call you a great mentor or are you that extraordinary mentor who, you know, who knows all, knows the right questions to ask, doesn't necessarily know all of them, but knows the right questions to ask to guide us to the answer and that extraordinary mentor doesn't always have that industry specific experience. They are a student of the process. Right. And maybe they have a lot of connections too, and they understand yeah. who are the people to bring in at the right time to get additional information. Yes. Yep. Yeah. So, Go for it, Roddy. Yeah. I, I just, uh, 
uh, heard Brenda, and I one thought it come in mind. There is a there is a difference between expert and the mentor. Yeah. So mentor expert is like on having a knowledge in the subject, and we can't cross the expert. And mentor is I can say is someone who grow with the mentee. And mentor is not the person who know everything, but the mentee can correct the mentor. So once the mentee uh, come at that level, so I can say, yeah, mentee is going on the right way or they achieve what they want to be achieving. So yeah, but expert, we can't cross them because they are having a knowledge. They are expert that we call. So that's the question. So what the person we need it like expert or the mentor? That's I just uh, understand now. Expert and a mentor. Okay. Well, thank you.